Greetings, everyone. My name is Jonathan Bailey, and I'm from the site Plagiarism Today, which can be found at plagiarismtoday.com. It is Friday again, and as usual with Fridays with these videos, I have, you know, taken time away from copyright, plagiarism, and site-related stuff to talk about just general tech things that have been on my brain. And what's been on my brain this week, if you've been reading my Facebook or Twitter, has been Firefox 12. Um... I downloaded it on Wednesday night with the uh, full intent. Was it Wednesday or Tuesday night? I don't, it doesn't matter. I downloaded it earlier this week sometime, right after it came out, within a few hours of it coming out. I downloaded it and decided to give it a whirl. I'm a bit of a browser junkie at the end of the day. I admit this. Um, Chrome is my main browser, though I don't know how much longer I'm going to be saying that. But Chrome is my main browser, and... I like using it, and it's what I'm in like, you know, 90, like 28 days out of the month. But whenever a new version of Opera, Safari, or Firefox comes out, I'm the guy that has to download it, test it, see what he's missing, see if he likes it better. And then it's just a matter of how long is it before I switch back to Chrome, before I give up. Um, <clears throat> I did that with Opera recently. I was back in Chrome, I think, within three hours. Um, I can't remember when the last version of Safari came out, but I know I did it with that, too, when I was... I'm always back in Chrome very quickly from Safari because the lack of pen tabs in Safari makes that browser pretty much useless to me. But I downloaded the latest Firefox, and I had to say I did not have high expectations. I had very, very, very low expectations because you know the way it's going with Firefox for me lately, at least on my Mac, is download Firefox, open it up. Oh dear God, it's great! It's wonderful! It's it's beautiful! 30 minutes later, the browser is completely dragging, it is totally sluggish, I shut it down and I'm back to Chrome. It's like, it's like it just hits a wall and it's over. And by slowness, by the way, I should sort of talk about what I mean by speed in the browser because that's kind of an important distinction. I'm not talking about the benchmarks you read everywhere. Those are always interesting but useless. Um, because what I'm thinking of is things that you can perceive like, if I click uh, between two tabs up top, how long does it take Firefox or the browser to display the already loaded page in that tab? <clears throat> now, it's hard to judge with internet latency loading a page sometimes, but that page is already loaded, and I switch between tabs, it should you know, be there. It should not be a matter of I have to wait half a second or a second for it to appear. Also, things like when I'm typing in Gmail, is the text keeping up with me, or is it that half a second to a second behind? Um, but I installed Firefox in the evening, ran it for like 10 minutes or something, and didn't even really pay attention to it, and said, I'm going to troll it, I'm going to leave it up overnight. This has traditionally been the kiss of death to Firefox. So leave it up overnight, leave it up any lengthy period of time. You come back in the morning, it's dragging. I did it, and Firefox was fresh and new in the morning, even though it had stayed up you know, for about 8 hours. It wasn't doing anything, but like I said, traditionally that hadn't mattered. Here, Firefox was fresh, it was crisp, it was clean, so I thought, well, we'll see how it survives after use, and it stayed very, very quick most of the day, at least. Uh, it remained very fast, um, very light on its feet, like I said, switching between tabs quick, typing ultra fast. It felt as fast, maybe even in, in places and certain tasks, a little bit faster than Chrome. So I've really been enjoying Firefox 12. I'm back in Chrome right now. I'm experimenting with a few extensions that are in Chrome, but that's a separate issue. But I'm really debating whether I want to switch back to Firefox when it's done. The, the, the three things I, I did notice that annoyed me about um, Firefox 12. One is there's a period of, it does hit a period of sluggishness after some ver a period of heavy use. Um, and then, let's, bear, let's bear in mind here, it took like four to five hours of really heavy, I'm editing blogs, answering email, doing a whole bunch of stuff at once, use. It's not like I was just, you know, pilly paddling around in it. This was pretty intense use of the browser for an extended period of time. It started getting slow and showing those symptoms I had mentioned. That's one. Two is, if you're running something like Hootsuite or TweetDeck in the browser, there's kind of, it seems to me at least, there's kind of a problem where um, it, it drags the rest of the browser. I think that's automatically updating in the background. It struggles with it. And the third thing is, if you're watching videos, certain, it seems like there's a problem with the implementation in Flash because if you're watching a video in one tab, once again, the rest of the browser uh, takes a bit of a performance hit. However, uh, unlike previous versions of Firefox, 
90% of the time I used it, it was lightning quick, it was fast, and it was a Chrome competitor in every way. So yeah, I was, I've got to say I'm very impressed with this version. I like a lot of the extensions and I like some of the extension implementations better in uh, Chrome. I don't like having to restart my browser every time I install them, but that's a separate story. But so there's a lot to like about this version of Firefox. And if you haven't tried Firefox in a while, if you've been a Chrome person for a while, especially if you're on a Mac, I would give this Firefox at least a whirl. Maybe don't bet on it being your main browser. There's still, like I said, some problems with it. But it's clear the Firefox team has rededicated himself to performance, true performance. And it, the progress shows. I've got to say, they've made a lot of headway here. So I'm actually very excited about Firefox 13. I hope it's not a step backwards. I'm, I'm going to actually not check out the betas for once. I want Firefox 13. It'll be here soon enough. I want it to be a surprise. I want to see how it works. But Firefox 12 actually impressed me. And I actually now have a debate on my hands as to what will be my main browser. That's pretty impressive. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm running a little bit over today. So this is Jonathan Bailey signing off.